Looking back, I kind of feel like I was destined to work in IP law. In my first year of undergraduate, I heard somebody say that uh, if you have a science or an engineering background, it's advantageous for IP law. And at the time, I had no intention of going to law school at all. But about three years later, when I applied for law school, I, I remembered, oh, maybe I'd be good at IP law because I had done a science undergraduate degree. So I made sure to take the courses in law school, and I really enjoyed them. And finally, when I started working at an IP boutique firm, I just fell in love with the practice area. One of the areas that I have specialized in is internet law. About 10 years ago, one of my senior colleagues asked me to stay up to date in the area because a lot of our clients were asking more and more questions about how to resolve their uh, trademark and copyright infringements happening on the internet. And over the past 10 years, that practice area has really just grown and grown. I've recovered probably hundreds of domain names, shut down websites, and recently uh, I was able to participate in shutting down a, a major illegal online movie streaming website with over 50 million users. I find the practice of law uh, rewarding because I really enjoy helping clients. Uh, my wife tells me I'm too competitive. I really enjoy winning cases, if I can say that as well. And in my practice, a lot of what I do on a daily basis is resolving disputes uh, in the field of trademarks and, and copyright. I don't think there's been a more challenging time uh, to practice law. There's so much competition from other law firms. There are pressures from clients to be faster and more cost effective. And there's even competition from outside of the legal profession. Uh, accounting firms, for example, are providing some overlapping services with the services that we provide. So one way that I'm trying to stay uh, focused to face these challenges is to just maintain uh, total commitment to expertise in, in our area of law. Clients ultimately are pursuing value. And when you have the right answers, that provides value to their business. If a client gets poor advice or wrong advice, it's going to cost them double in the end. I really believe that pro bono work and volunteer work will bring back more than you invest. Because if you're able to marshal your gifts and talents to do something that you believe in, uh, that leaves a lasting effect and you know, your time gets sucked away by so many things. And when you look back, it's really the investments in others that often some of your greatest achievements. We were approached by a initiative similar to the Fair Trade Initiative that was looking to have a badge of compliance for ethically mined products. And as most people are aware, a lot of the mining operations around the world have issues with environmental concerns and with uh, working conditions. We were able to offer them uh, trademark services pro bono to enable them to protect the brand in Canada and to roll out this uh, signal, this certification to uh, businesses that were willing to sell jewelry and other products that were made of ethically mined metals. I find the practice of law rewarding because I love to win, and I love to win for my clients, and I love to help them succeed in their business. And of course, I earn my living this way, I'm able to support my family. But there's also a, a more element to it, which I find quite compelling sometimes. There's a lot of great companies in Canada and globally, uh, providing employment, paying taxes, providing quality products to consumers. And one of the issues we face in our practice is counterfeits. When you have a counterfeiter overseas who likely doesn't pay taxes, who's undercutting the legitimate company, it takes away jobs from our citizens, it takes away our tax dollars, and ultimately, in many cases, the consumers end up with an inferior product. When I'm able to help a client shut down a counterfeit operation or protect its brands here in Canada, it's really rewarding on a personal level as well as on a business level.